So my next guest is uh, Stephen O, and he's directly um, coming from Los Angeles um, to the Median Tage München, and we can have a great conversation about uh, the challenge for independent TV producers, independent format producers. Um, they started their career on on online and now turning to the TV business, maybe anymore or maybe starting something different. So. Um, Stephen, maybe you can tell me a little more about the, the Young Turks. That was the format you initially started in 2002, or maybe your colleagues started. Yes, yes. so we got started in 2002, uh, first as a radio show, and we had no money, maybe $20,000. That was it, to buy, buy some equipment and start off as a radio show. In 2005, when YouTube came along, we put our show on YouTube as a video show, and that's when we really took off. And um, The way we really became big uh, as an independent producer of news is that we were covering stories in a way different than mainstream media. So in the, in the US, uh, maybe here also in Germany, uh, the Iraq war was a big deal. And every single news station said, this is great, we should all go to war, war is awesome. And we're the only ones that were saying, wait a second, wait a second, hold on. Why exactly are we going to war? This, is, this doesn't quite add up. You keep talking about 9-11, but Saddam Hussein didn't do 9-11. Those are the Saudis. Al-Qaeda is different than Saddam Hussein. And now you're talking about weapons of mass destruction, but the UN inspector said they didn't find anything. And you're talking about uranium and Germany. and like, like, like These are all things that don't quite add up. So why exactly are we really going to Iraq? So uh, that really helped us gain a lot of audience who were asking the same questions. They just didn't see anyone else in mainstream media address these issues. So you started this as an interactive discussion. Yes. Yes. Um, and, you know, as innovators, we are, we're always looking at ways of doing things in a better way, in a different way. So, you know, traditional media was a one-way street where they were giving information to the audience. We had more of an interactive relationship with our audience. We asked questions. We solicited their answers. We get their feedback. And, and, and they're, they're part of our conversation, part of our programming. So when we talk about the business model, you just told me that you started as an original platform, like a radio show, and then later on you turned to YouTube. Um, did you make any money with YouTube, or was it was it big money? Was it was the money enough to to develop your your your, your further program from that? Um, it was small amounts of money, um, and it got better and better as our channel grew. Um, but we are always just barely surviving. I mean, it's just not enough money. We're paying everyone very, very low wages. But what YouTube did that was great for us is um, in 2010, 2011, around that time frame, they were funding a lot of channels for original programs and they gave us a nice amount of money to help our business. So uh, we'll always be grateful to YouTube for doing that because that was, that was a good amount of money at the right time. But uh, without the, the funding of YouTube, the show would be um, not really doomed, but it would be like in the situation that you would have uh, the situation that you could raise the awareness with, for the show with, you, with YouTube, but you could not make money with, with YouTube, right? Um, yeah, so what, what the YouTube money allowed us to do was to really increase our production value, you know, do things like have chirons and, you know, have better graphics packages, have much, much better lighting, those kind of things. Um, without the money, we would have just continued on, but, you know, at a much lower production value. Um, but you're right, uh, you know, that's not the best way to monetize and, and build out your company. And what, what, what makes me curious, so in the meanwhile, you're also a show on traditional television. Mm -hmm. And um, so why did you uh, came up with the idea to go to the traditional TV, TV stations as well? since you're a successful online show. Yes, yeah, so uh, it's, it's a strange situation where we actually have much more of an audience online, much, much bigger. But television still holds all the money. So if you want to, so we, we did a TV show with uh, MSNBC, Jenk was on that show, and then we had our own show on current TV, uh, and the economics are so much better there. So you get paid a lot more on television, largely because of two reasons. Uh, one is the advertisers, they still spend a lot more money on television than they do on, online. Uh, and number two, in the US, um, it's a cable model. So um, if, you have a, if you have a channel on cable, you get paid a certain amount from the cable uh, uh, operators for every subscriber that they have uh, on, that, on that platform. But isn't it this crazy? So putting the stats on the table, letting the advertisers know you have the huge audience online on your own platform and on YouTube, 
but all the money they spent supporting the show, getting some other audience is on a, on a, on a, on a, on a lower base on a traditional media. So how do you think will this turn in the next years? Yeah, so uh, it's very frustrating as, a, as an online media company that that issue still exists. But the, the reality is that advertisers, like everyone else in, in, in the world, they do what they've always done, what they're comfortable doing. So they already have an entire infrastructure set up to buy ads on television. And a lot of people get rich off of that existing system. They don't want to change that. So it's very, very slow to evolve. But it is inevitable, it's already happening quite a bit where the money is flowing towards the digital side uh, much faster and much greater amounts. Um, so, go ahead. Yeah, just to sum it up, so what would be your recommendation or what do you think is the, the biggest challenge for the next two years for, uh, for a media company like yours? Um, for us, um, our, our primary objective right now is to create a, a linear channel that will live on the, all the new cable operators that are popping up. So, for example, in the U.S., uh, um, Dish Network uh, launched Sling TV, DirecTV launched DirecTV Now, Hulu, YouTube TV, Amazon, Verizon. Everyone's launching what they call this skinny bundle on the digital side. And our goal is to be a channel on every one of these platforms, every one of these new digital cable operators, and also command a carriage fee from each one of them. So, between the carriage fees there and the advertising dollars, we should have... Uh, an opportunity to really grow our revenue uh, and compete with the traditional t t uh, television guys. So coming from the on-demand uh, area back to the linear area, right? Yes, uh, but we will always have the on-demand digital component because, again, I think that's where the lion's share of the audience lives. And we always want to be connected to the audience. Stephen O, thank you for being my guest at the Median Tage. Nice to meet you and uh, check out the channel, The Young Turks, on YouTube and on other networks if you are able to watch it uh, through maybe IP uh, re address regulations. <laughs> yeah. um, but you will find the show on YouTube. Thank you. Right. Thank you.